what's going on guys a little fish room update for you so guppies are doing very good move some over to this little tank here kind of prepping these for sale and growing them on a little bit got some new fry back here so one of the females had some babies and got a little java moss for this tank My blue dreams ended up having their babies as well. Let's see if I can't find them. They're very, very tiny at the moment. Just give me one second here. Oh, I think I see one. All right. Oh, gosh. Yeah, he's on that algae back there, but I don't think this camera's going to be able to even capture him. That thing right there, that little blur, that is a baby shrimp. So we've got a couple of those guys. Let's see if I can't find any on these leaves here. I don't see any. But anyways, those guys will be growing out soon. Some of the adults. That's a male there. And then uh, the sword tails. So we do got a little algae hitting these fi finally. So I'm going to scrub these out a little bit. Uh, what is, she should be having her babies here soon as well. So all the fish are doing wonderful. I think I'm going to feed these guys into a little water change. Kind of show you what's going on with that. Got two more tanks set up. Those are running. Uh, I did order some new stuff, so I'll show you guys that real quick. <clears throat> so I got this little, this little breeder box. I actually really like this. So it's got all the uh, plumbing and everything built in. But basically, because it'll keep this water. I just like it because it's gonna. I don't have to run like a separate heater or like a whole another tank or anything for fry. Fre this will be for like fresh fry. So. This will actually hook up to the air stone or the air tube and uh, suck water up through here. So it'll keep fresh water flowing through here at all times. This little outlet here. So I'm curious to see how this is going to work for me. Also got a little egg tumbler. So and then this basically just prevents uh, any eggs from growing fungus on them. So this will basically suck air through here, blow out here. Creates some draw through here. This has like a little sponge filter, and we'll just bounce them around in there. I think I got some other stuff. Oh, yeah, I did get some driftwood. Driftwood. Sponge filters, more stuff. Got more lab equipment. And uh, actually, I might feed these guys some ONIP. Getting ready here. Second. These guys go crazy for these O nip tabs. Hey. Cat was trying to get into them as well. So I suck these in the glass here to kind of show what's going on. These dudes go absolutely berserk for this stuff once they realize what it is. But they're just little uh, Sarah ONIP tabs that I use. I'll show you what they look like. Just something kind of extra to supplement their diet. That's kind of what they look like there. Bloodworms, krill, two effects. Stick right to the glass. That's what I kind of like about them. So we're going to go 
hard on that for a minute. I'm gonna do a little water change. Oh yeah, here these guys go. They're going berserk. I put stuck two little chunks in there. So not a huge update, but uh, something to post for you guys here.